just to make sure I've got no one set to do this by accident because Let's get on with it. yesterday we yes we I, I thought I'd killed Shouldn't have wished one of those hook terrors and it was just knocked out instead and I don't know how it came to be knocked out it was a little bit strange target is too far I think the idea is I get the orb of dark vision I walk up here and now that I can see I'm going to need something that either increases the strength or gives him the ability to jump further on this it could be or I could fly across is the other thing or I can climb across over there which looks the right way to do this without wasting loads of stuff there's there's somewhere to go so we shall come back stop 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 hang on be careful there are traps about is that thing trapped a gargoyle statue am i uh, I think that's going to shoot a fireball all the way down here. I think that's the sort of trap it is. I'm going to disarm it. Nice. Nothing else to do with it. Problem is... A trap. Like Luckily, we saw how that works. Do you know what? I think I'm going to disarm everything. Uh, exit this place, this, this mode. Let's just disarm that. Unless I have to turn the damn thing off first. That would be disastrous if I disarmed it in the on state and couldn't ever turn it off. Having said that, we appear to have clicked on something now. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Should I just go back and check the skeleton? Bones. Well, what I could do... Will this work? It's not one of those that goes click then. And it gets instantly incinerated. So we can run through. Just get past it. Be careful. There are traps about. I don't know how many trap toolkits I've got. Where are they? I've got 15. I can probably afford to do this. I can also jump over them if I know where they are, but I don't know where I'm going, so... It's a question of, do I waste them? There's a trap in the middle of that, is there? That's not disarmed. If I want it, I'll have to disarm it or I just run through. We just run through. There'll be more here, will there not? This looks like something else to... Be careful. There are traps about. Okay, we've got a more important thing here. We've got this to work out. That is... That's a different matter entirely. There's a lever on the other side. And there's a gilded chest. And it's all for an idol of Shan, whatever's in that chest. How would I do this? I would need to put something... 
I don't think I could run up there. I'd have to take some fire resistance or something. Because there's nowhere to hide along there. Try fly. Fly would be the thing to do. It does have a potion of fly. I'm trying to see if there's another way into this. Oh, I've seen this as well, actually. Quick, 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 quick. There are traps about. I'm not sure what I pressed on there. Stood on, but. Uh, nice, we'll take that. Anything else down here? Of course, I might not be able to go back that way. And we might want the other people as well. I don't know. I'll explore and see where we get to. Is there a glyph? It must be underneath me. Oh yeah, take those. They're cash. Cashable, we'll have those. No other way that you've seen. Well, I'm wondering where this leads to. If fly is the option, then it, it is the option. But, uh, oh, I've come down here and there's there's no way out for a Starion here. Unless I, I do fly. And I think he has a potion of it, so... I'll just check the boxes. Oh, and the dirty great big chest at the back here. It's like an arms collection. No. Ah, okay. Take a look at his potions. He's got invisibility, he's not going to help. Vigilance. Glorious vaulting. This will triple your jump distance. That would have been handy back there. Potion of invisibility. I don't think he's got the potion of flight. Let's just sort by type so we can have a proper look at this. Animal speaking, vigilance, featherfall, glorious vaulting, potion of healing, antidote, poison, wyvern poison. Ah, now hang on a second. Where's the where's the teleport arrow thing? He has that. The arrow of transposition. Teleport wherever you fire this arrow. Some archers claim that these arrows switch places with one another when placed in the same quiver. See, that might be a thing. Human, a god. I'm a bit worried I'm going to get scorched here. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh no, wait, is he, is he okay there? Are you joking? He's okay there. I stood on the trap. I don't think it did much. I think he's okay. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be a terrible thing. We'll enter turn-based mode as soon as that goes off. Now, I'm just going to make sure that, that doesn't then just still trigger. His environment goes last, and I think we're okay with this. Lock picking impossible. That's good to know then. So there's some other way. It would have to be a potion of flight. Uh, or the arrow thing. Let's try the arrow thing. There we go. We're in. Nice. You sack this bit off. Okay, let's exit turn-based mode. Do the lever. Open the thing. And hopefully turn all the fiery things off. That was beautiful. Yeah, those, so those arrows are brilliant. And if anyone's wondering, the first time I saw a mechanic like that used in a video game... It was Ultimate Underworld 2 back in the mid-90s. That's when I played it. A friend gave me gave it to me. It was like a... Uh, it was amazing. It was amazing um, sort of semi-open world RPG dungeon delve thing. It was fantastic. And one of the last puzzles was this sort of magical cage that you had to get into to finish the game. And the, me and a mate tried for like hundreds... Not hundreds of hours. Dozens of hours, hours trying to do other things. And I found these two teleporting balls I'd never found a use for in, in the rest of the game. 
and there wasn't a throw action in, but we actually figured out that you could actually throw it by just clicking on the screen and just lobbing it. And you threw one through the bars of the cage, used the other one, appeared in there, got the thing you needed, teleported out, finished the game. It was fantastic. That was the first time I've seen a teleport puzzle like that used in an RPG, and it was great. You're going to head back now you have one of those arrows? That's the way to do it. Let's get what we can out of here. I mean, it was quite a, a bag of rotten food. I'll take the Idol of Shah. An aspect of the lady is lost. Shadow Heart may appreciate its finding. I'll light the candles. I'm not going to disarm the statue. I will check the vases. I think these are going to be empty. Well, actually, that was worth coming down. For. Oh, I picked up the bowls, didn't I? And the bowls are crap, but... Right, it's this thing that we really wanted. Oh, nice. Okay, this is worth exploring. We can't send these to anyone, can we? Surprisingly, yes, even though they're a long way away. Arsonist oil, jow poison, and the Protecty Sparks wall. Oh, this is another part of that gear. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC. The wearer has a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as they have lightning charges. We need to figure out how to get lightning charges on Gale because I have a horrible feeling I have sold the boots that give them. There was a ring, though. Anyway, that was well worth a bit of an explore. And we could also, we could jump across there with those triple jumping potions. But is there another way around to that? I feel like there should be. There's a ladder there, so if we can get to this bit. Right, we, well, we can go down here. Ah, okay, we can jump across there. That looks like the floor is going to fall away if I stand on that bit, so I'm going to be careful with that. This might be some sort of uh, puzzle to, to work out how to get this along. And then we need to work out if we need to go over there. So without going through the middle, this might shortcut a lot of it, though. We might, we might be a lever over here. We'll consider that an option. I've got a long road ahead. We want to... What was I going to do? I was going to check the... I was going to check the robe for Gale. What, what have you got? You've got this. Resistance to cold damage. No, absolutely not. Uh, get that one put on. That looks... Is that like the one he had originally? So, who else? Is... We don't think we have anyone that has lightning uh, charges. I can't believe I had loads of those things that gave lightning charges. I don't think I've kept a single one. And all of a sudden, now, we have a use for them. Still, there might be some more gear for this set, so we shall we shall see. Right, it looks like it's this way. What do you mean you can't get there? Stop complaining. Get down the ladder, man. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. We've got... Okay, that takes us straight across. That one takes us up. That must be for something else. This one will bring us back then, will it? We're going to need to leave somebody here, aren't we? And that brings us down. I'm kind of tempted to go up there and do the leap across and not bother with this bit. The question is, though, is there going to be something... We're going to have to get everybody on, aren't we? Right, so Eric... The rest of the party, go and jump onto this if you can. My pleasure. A quick save there, please, in case this gives way underneath my weight. Can I leave the closet behind? Can he go and do these? 
He cannot. That's a shame. That would have been really useful. So shall I send the rest of the group over and they can do stuff over there first? A whole load of... Oh, that was the kitchen downstairs, wasn't it? Uh, let's do... Which was it, this one? Never a dull moment. Part of me was tempted to think I could jump it as it was moving, but I, I think that would end one in would tears. Believe. So the team I've got over here are good at opening, uh, opening stuff. Seek and you shall and find. The, okay, combat and stuff. Let's see what we've got then. There should be some stuff to find. Adventure awaits. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Well, we'll come back this way. I'm sure. Right, Gale. What have you got in here? Nothing. I don't like the fact that I've left my key player behind. You can jump even without using the levers. I don't know if I can jump right across there. I mean, that's like... That's an almighty jump. <laughs> yeah, I can jump to my death. I like it just, it just says death. I don't have a character with the strength to get across there. Unless I use the potion of... Do you know what? I have one of those. And this will last to long rest. I don't think it's going to get me across there regardless. Oh, guess gets me to there though. Whee! There we go. And then we can loot this skeleton along the way. I love those potions. Getting back might be an issue. Although we can just teleport to the um, the quick travel place if we if we have to, and then get back from there. So it's not far. You know you can shoot levers, right? I did not, Mills. I did not even think of that. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the answer that I was looking for. Cheers. That's obviously going to be a bit of a game changer then. I see tracks there. Or footprints. That's worth a look. A bloody footprint. Bloody tracks. Quite small too. A gnome found some trouble here. Yeah, and then where did he go is the question. Because this looks very much like a dead end to me. Oh, by the way, Starion. Keep your distance, darling. And uh, where was that? Send that to Shadowheart. Anything? Nothing? What are they? Hmm. So is there nothing actually here? Well that is on my way. Hang on. Bloody tracks. Quite small too. A gnome found some trouble here. Unless it's the one that escaped and dived off into the thing and swum away and met us at the beach at the other side, then died. I don't know. Let's it's have a look. Skelly that we missed. All right. Okay. Well, I I can't figure out anything with that. So, have we been through here? No. This looks important. Okay. So, how are we going to get these doors open? Come, all who are weary, sleep and forget. Double iron doors. Do we have? We don't have a key, do we? Do we need one? Delicious. <laughs> Easy. It's not incredibly easy, but we're through. That would have maybe opened up if I'd done something else or found a key, but I feel Let's like we're doing the right thing. Need to find a way forward. No traps, there are so many please. bodies. Hmm. 
There's, oh, hang on. There's got to be some notes or something down here. Where's this? The Harper key. An ancient key found in the body of a Shah worshipper. An undelivered letter. Master Ketherick. Oh, this isn't good. My whip has finally coaxed some particulars from the captive Harper. To wit, she revealed the location of a stockpile on a rocky overlook. I investigated but found the chest in question is trapped. Any attempt to open it might break its contents completely. The spy refuses, refuses to reveal how to open the chest, even the threat of death, only crying looks splendor with every lash. Some type of watchword, no doubt. Uh, looks, light, splendid light, I don't know. Unless that's a password. Interrogation continues, and again, please accept my most humble apologies for my earlier oversights. Rest assured, I will not misidentify any more of my fellow Sharon's as spies. May they walk forever in shadow. Justicius Sybil. What was that watchword? Lux Splendor. But what does it mean? Hang on. Let's get someone with some intelligence to, to read this. Read. Close. Nothing. Oh, hang on. She might know. I think I get one chance at this, right? And then it's it's gone. Uh, read. Lux Splendor. Well, I get one chance at it and it's gone, so it's it's gone. Still Never mind. Breathing, I think it means light something. I think I should take it. Scroll of fly. And a scroll of dark vision. This is... Um, how long does this last? It lasts until a long rest. So he can see... I think he had a light That's cast on him, way. but it doesn't show up here all the time, so... Scroll of Ice Storm, Center Gale, take that. And okay, we'll take that. It, it's probably sensible to have it with us. I don't see anything else to play with here. Anything at the other side? No chests. Do we go up the middle one? We'll get the skeleton at this end. So where's this chest gonna be? Hey Lion, how's it going? What's new? It's just a bit of Baldur's Gate 3. I have not really played anything else, actually, in the last two weeks. This has been kept me completely occupied. These are Sharon weapons. How about you? I recognize the Night Singer's blades anywhere. We'll take a free act to sell later. The Canticles of the Dark Mistress. What are Canticles? You're fine, thanks. I'm very stoned. Oh, have a good chill-out day. Let shadow fall where the light doth creep and silence cloak the din. Let blackness into lost hearts seep and bid our lady in. Behold Shah who holds our path. Behold Shah from Ao born. Behold Shah the primal dark. Our goddess of night, behold. Uh, do you want this shadow heart? Do you want this junk, this religious trash? A carafe of wine. What about the other one? Nothing. Um. Oh, hello. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't leave. Oh, that's good. I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Do I want to hear about the Mother Superior? You kept that idol of Shah from Grimforge, I take it? Of course. I couldn't leave such a treasure behind. I'll find it a place of honour in the camp. I suppose I owe you my thanks. Unlikely I'd have found this without you leading the way. In any Damn case, right. it was certainly not what I expected to find in the Underdark. I wonder... Perhaps this is connected to the Dark Justicias. Oh gee, do you think? This is no coincidence, I'm sure of it. I need to keep an eye out for more signs. Learn more about the Justicias' presence in these lands. It could be important. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah... 
I wish to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. If, ja if dark justicias were once a power around here, all signs suggest that time has long passed. All signs we've encountered so far, perhaps. I'll be keeping my eyes peeled going forward. Mm, that's fine. Okay, we're done. So, there's the door there, obviously. And is, where does this lead to? Oh, this leads to a dead end, so let's go up. Check that, check that. Let's keep going, let's check the skeleton. He has a key, a tarnished silver key. A heavy old key marked with a purple ring, shard symbol, found in a skeleton. What is that for? Would it be that door? That would be far too much to ask, wouldn't it? What's my hobby? I have uh, well, a few hobbies, actually. Um, keep fit archery, which was once more than a hobby. Oh, shield mode. Mold. We could... Right, so this is for crafting a weapon in this forge when we find it. The opportunity to use a shield. Uh, a steel mold. I doubt we'll Used use in that. Forges to cast armor and weapons. Doesn't sound exciting enough, but it could be something amazing. I mean, video games have been my hobby since I was about nine or ten. Maybe eight, seven or eight. Who knows? Long time. <laughs> yeah, you think uh, you think Shadowheart follows a homicidal god? Okay. Well, we found a fight. What the hell is that? A Merigon Legionnaire. Do you know what I might do? Because I wasn't ready for that at all. Uh, can we just can we just move up and close the doors? Can we? Uh, I think you're going to cast invisibility and stay at the back and just hide. Right, that's your turn done. You're going to be... Can we do it? Yes, right. Let's bring them through here. We'll form a defensive line at the back. Uh, I like the idea of this. I really like the idea of this. Let's get back over here and hide. You go through there. Or do we want to get right back? Let's get right back. So if things come charging out, we're good. And the mage at the back. Uh, if you weren't, if, if Eric wasn't going last, I could have put a nice grease surface down there, which would have been excellent. Hmm. There's piggies on the other side of that door. The question is though, can pigs open doors? There's a mass. Oh, he can. But he had to dash to get in. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, if I... If I uh, okay. Right, well, anyway, this, this ain't so bad. I would have liked to have got him out the way. I mean, I could disengage and run back. And then we'll get a go. We could set fire to everything in that door really nicely. If I move to there... He's... It's, an, it's adjacent to everyone. Right, we can still do this. This is cool. Uh, we've still got a nice area here we can get some cool surfaces on. So let me go for the cleave. Target is blocked. Is it really? Am I not going to hit that? I think I'm going to hit both of them. I did, but not for an awful lot of damage, which is a shame. Oh, this pig's nearly dead. Right. And I'm going to pommel attack this guy. Let's see if we can stun him. No, don't go rushing in. Why are you over here? Right, that was good. The last pig shouldn't be able to get into combat. Pigs everywhere. Hmm? Has he set me on fire? This is a fire pig. Do you want to... I think you probably just want to stay out of the way, don't you? That one is nearly dead. If I go... Yeah, stay stay out of the way with the closet. Oh, 
you want to get in and shiv the pig? Or stealth attack that thing? That would be better, I think. Let's go for a stealth attack over there. Must have advantage. Do we not have advantage? Oh, well, let's go for a normal attack over there. Sorry. Let's go for a normal attack. Oh, one thing I've, else I've learned today. This is, this is really cool. I didn't know this. If you click on a ranged attack or the throw button. Where's the throw button? Wherever that is. It then... Oh, throw. It then brings up all the options that you can throw in your backpack. Isn't that cool? Bombs, potions, whatever. That's so much better than fishing through. And if you click range attack, it shows all the arrows and stuff that you could use. I really, really like that. I'm thinking... What have we got? We've got something we'll put a poison down in there. An acid damage. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. He saved, which was a shame. I think I can move up here and shiv this pig with the other weapon. And we get the kill, which is excellent. And I got set on fire, which is not so excellent. Uh, you don't really want to go up there, do you? If you can help it. Thinking of... Oh, hang on. Are these resistant to fire? Highly so. And poison. We could probably blast it with... The Sacred Flame. Mm, I thought that might have killed it outright, but... What have we got? Fire's no good. There's always ice. Hmm, I was thinking of setting the whole area on fire, but it seems kind of pointless to do that now. We've got a we've got the lightning bolt spell. Ooh, hang on a second. I feel like I should be saving the good spells, but at the same time. Oh, it only hits. Oh, I cast Witch Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Never mind. It works. That's annoying. Oh, it's causing some trouble. He lost concentration. Oh, God. Two spell icons. Look the same. I might get rid of that witch bolt. I've memorized it. It looks like it could be useful. But I think I've got better stuff to use now. Right, my man, you are... Uh, well, it's about time we put an end to this fight. A thunderous smite, which will go for a knockback. Oh, it might knock it prone. Let's go for that. But, uh, it's saved, which was a shame, but it's nearly dead, so... We got him. Um, well... Where the hell is... Where the shite is Gale? Uh, say what? Um, how do I get him up? At least things have stayed interesting. Can you see him? Can we actually get down to there without leaving this place? Can't see him from there. Already. Falling damage. Got knocked by the charge attack. That charge attack was weird because it it didn't it didn't go in his direction as far as I know, but it it hit him and knocked him out of the way. When I've tried to do that with Eric, with that it, it's not worked. Can we throw down there a potion of healing? I wish I could tilt the camera. He's not getting up and he's not going down. Are we still in? I'm not in turn-based mode. Don't make me go down to do this. Right, go to throw. Can't even see where throw is. Right, pick up the potion of healing. Can you see where this is landing? Huh? Oh, nearly. Nope. The, the camera on levels, it's just... I'm having so much difficulty with the camera on these multi-levels. I can't see to do this. 
past all his saves, so he's stable. Yeah, he's not getting up, though. Oh, come on. It's, oh, hang on, there's a... Which is the... Which is the button to go into... There's a top-down mode, isn't there? What's the, what's the button to do that? That might work here. Let's have a look at keybinds. I've used this once, I think. Tactical camera, it's O. Right, that's the one we want. So if we go to throw, we pick the potion of healing, and we lob it down there. Can't reach its destination. Let me try that again. Path is interrupted. Oh, there it's not. There it is. Path is interrupted. Ah, uh, really? What by? Hang on, if I move there. There's got to be somewhere I can see from here. Hang on, what about um, Shadowheart? What's Come on. Next? Bring her up to the edge. What's the range on a healing word? Take your that works. Okay. So, Gale, your quest, Have if you choose to accept it, well, is to come up here. <laughs> Are you going to figure this out by yourself? Or am I going to have to go down and do it? Is he moving? He's not. Okay, let's let's see if I can get him back up there. How far down are we? Oh, are we in this room? Oh man, that sucks. Onward. He can fly up. Ah. <sighs> Ledges are, are, are just the bane of my existence in this game. If I knock something off a ledge, it's guaranteed to be like a quest item character or an epic loot character then falls into a chasm and is never seen ever again. And if anyone knocks me near a ledge, I go flying off to the death and it, it, it sort of messes me up completely. What have we got? Have we got potion of flight? Scroll of flight? So I might just use that. Cast spell. Right, go up here. Right, you, Gale, should now come up here, right? Here he is. We got him back. Right, what the hell were we fighting in that doorway? And at this point, we're going to need to do some, some healing up, aren't we? This is our last short rest. Better than nothing. Yeah, I don't know though. Which way to the nearest library? Oh. Okay, it's looking better. Remember, we're trying not to do long rests in this section. People said it was a time Can't section. Give up now. I could also do with Oh, I don't need to worry about acid. I can walk through it, can't I? It's fine. A devil foil mask. Uh, okay, it's lined with jagged bite marks, a single notch indicating the rank of foot soldier. It's worth quite a bit. I'm going to send it to Shadowheart. What a curious mask. She succeeded a Wait. check with it. This is American's mask. Warriors of the Nine Hells. Well, that was a lucky guess. I wonder if I picked up any more crap I should have sent to her. American Halberd, 7 to 16 damage. I don't think that's worth having on anyone. These boots have seen everything. There's going to be some stuff in here that's that's important, right? Ochre jelly. Rapier and some jelly slime. Do you think anything's going to drop from the ceiling and kill me in here? Let's see. I was expecting death, traps, everything. Elixir of heroism. That's pretty nice. Uh, okay, what does the Elixir of the Colossus do? Increases your size. Weapons deal an additional d4 damage. You gain advantage on strength checks and saves. 
replaces effects from other elixirs when taken. That's quite nice. Okay, that's something that uh, Eric can definitely do. Instead of the potion of giant strength, maybe. And the fire stoker, this is a hand crossbow. So any of us can use it. Burned alive, deals an additional one to four piercing damage to burning targets. Two to ten damage. Mm, that's... don't know who it's better for, to be quite honest. Let's have a look at this. It's not better for me with my heavy crossbow. Who, and I very rarely use it. So it's either going to Gale, who would be able to use it. Astarian could use it. D8 plus 5 versus... D6 plus 4. But it's got the burning thing as well. Just a light crossbow. Range 15 meters. We'll go with a longer range on there, I think. And she can have the plus one. Just because she doesn't hit very often. You so very rarely use it. I don't think there's any benefit. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. So, he's not proficient with a hand crossbow. But he is with a light one. Ah, okay. I did not expect that. Right, there's a rusted key. Maybe I need for something. Pockets. Do we know what? I want an image to appear in this thing. If I light all the candles. What have we got then? We've got a devil foil mask which we'll send to... Well, I'll just go and bring Shadowheart over and pick it up. Another mask. The Maragorn's mask, no less. Those infernal soldiers only fight with the commander at their side. And I don't see one here. Elixir of fire resistance. Yeah, go on, pick that up. And is that it here? I feel like there should be something more in here. Way. And there isn't. Is that mm. blood? No, never mind. Never wanted the easy Wait, what's this? That's the... Oh, the smoke powder reserve is above this place. Okay. So what would that key open, do you think? I definitely do not want to drop down anywhere. So that was... Oh, we haven't even been along here yet. There's quite a bit to explore up here. Possible loot area over here. Possible something, sure. Hang on. What have we got? Two idiots down there talking. Okay, we've got something over here. The chest will drop down for... off the edge alright so we've kind of come around we did we talk to these in the beginning came morning then night two sisters clashed one dark and one light well we know that's Saluna and Shah but do we need to get Shadowheart to come and that drow near is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out Though, not necessarily our concern, of course. Uh, leave. Does she need... Because I know she needs to investigate this place, but I don't know if I need to use her to... In the beginning came morning. No. Then night. Two sisters clashed. One dark and one light. Uh, storm. Scroll of Ice Storm. There's some nice spells we're finding. A map of Moonhaven. This war map offers a detailed plan to attack the village of Moonhaven, encouraging soldiers to kill in merciless silence. Aha! More levers. 
magic armor. It's the same stuff. And we've got a scimitar mold. We're not making a scimitar. Right, press all the buttons. See what happens. It's that one over there. Ah, uh, hang on. Okay, I can see. That one's up. That one, right, bring it back. Because I think this will attach to here. It doesn't, but I think we can jump onto it from there. Do I need to bring it down, actually? Which was... Was it that one? Uh, we could definitely jump onto it from there, but I, I think that would be bad. Okay, so we'll, we'll go around the other side. They look like they're about to jump to their deaths. Have we been down there? Oh, yeah, they're trying to dig their way in, aren't they? We'll come and work on that in a moment. Right now, we need to go back across. We need to get to here and then back across. I've hit a wall, Tom. Time for another cafetier to get you through. Yeah, my stuff wouldn't help you very much because I drink decaffeinated. I bought a kilogram of the last coffee beans. They were they were like they're called Swiss water decaf from York Emporium. I got a sample of them for my birthday in April as a present, and um, I thought they were pretty good, so I bought a kilo of the stuff. And it the the, the next that stuff I got wasn't anywhere near as good as uh, the original sample. Different roast, maybe different batch. Who knows? But um, actually, but as it turns out, now I've got to the very bottom of the kilogram. The stuff I've got now that's been around a little bit longer tastes way, way better. So, go figure. But it is typical that just as I get to the end of this, oh crap! Yeah, we need to be on the bit in the middle here because that is a long sword mold, and now I am over encumbered. Come on, Gale. Gale can definitely do this. Lost Is he not flying form. anymore? It's a shame. No, no, everybody, come back. <laughs> right, we're leaving. People fly around everywhere. Right, let's fix this. What am I carrying that is so damned heavy? Sort by weight? These molds, oh, they weigh, well, they weigh 10 apiece. Okay, we're going to send them to Gale. Because he doesn't carry much other stuff. And being a human, he's actually quite strong. And these armors, these weigh a ton. Oh, tell you what, send them to Shadowheart and see if she responds to any of these. These dark Justicia armors. Maybe not. Don't think I've got anything else that I can send over to her. Anyway, that's alleviated the situation with the, the weight temporarily. Adamantine's not too bad. Tell you what, she can have all the armors. She's a Shah worshipper. Let's see what she makes of all this crap coming over. She is fine with that, so that's good news. Swift as my feet can carry me. Hmm. Yeah, get to the bottom of the bag and start to enjoy it. It's typical. Normally with, with coffees, aging them is, isn't a good thing. So you can have two fresh, but then after a few days, that's normally when the roast is going to be at its best and you should get it used up pretty quick. So leaving it around too long is not normally good, but anyway, it's worked out for the best with this stuff. Downside is it means I'm going to have to order some more now and I'll go for something different. I'll go for my old, my old favourite. But I um, don't want to spend the money because I'm a tight ass. Right, I think this is where we go. Yeah, you can see the, uh, all those over there. Save this because this definitely looks like a, a fall to your death moment if you mess this up. Everybody on. Covered in rust. Must be older than bone dust. Come on, you two. Come on, Quasit. You can do it. Fly, uh, jump. 
Not too high. You can do it. You can do it. I'd have to drop it down, wouldn't I? I can drop it down then. Give me Can't that. That's the down one, I think. Right, so you're gonna you're probably gonna fall on your face it, yeah. But it's on, so <laughs> there is work to do. Well, it should have come when it was told, shouldn't it? Let's go up and then let's go along. Get the other one. And I hope there's an easier way back. Oh, okay. It looks like we might actually need to be lower. There's room for five on there. All's well that ends. There's a label on the lift door that said five persons are 100 kilo. 100 kilos? No, that would be quite light for five persons, wouldn't it? Five persons are 500 kilograms. Load limit. It was fine. It managed us fine. Right, go on then. Run. And assume that everybody comes with me. Even the closet? Nope, he's staying there. Right, okay. We don't have him then. Uh, this is... There's a mace mold. There's all sorts of other molds down there. Can I see anything? I'm clearly not jump. Oh, hang on. I think I can do this safely. Yeah. Nice. We've got a waypoint up here. If I click on that Let's and then click on it again, does. does it do? This is the right one, isn't it? Yep, it brings the, the closet through. That's what I want to do. So we've got a mace mold. Send to... Oh, I'll just pick up. Well, we're here. Wherever here is. Got any instructions? A dusty book. Praise be to the Lady of Lost. She has, through Sister Ansar, taught Brother Silu the true nature of our lives, that they are lost and nothing but lost. This is grim stuff, right? Send that over to uh, Shadow Heart. Anything? No? Nothing? It's, it feels so random what I'm supposed to give her. Right, let's start on the left and work around. I'd better save this as well. Catch you later, Tom. Good luck with all the editing. I'll have to check in the channel and see what you found on the on the Gamescom stuff. Wait, what is that? A splint mold. Splint? Why would we want to make a splint? We have a okay, so this is intimidation plus one. That's quite useful. Uh, let's have a look at the scribbled note. Must find new sources. Nearby mithril veins are near depletion and the quantities required for Brother Silov's most recent project were considerable. Some of the acolytes have taken to calling it grim for the place it was made, though never within Brother Silov's hearing. We'll take that and I'm sending that straight to Shadowheart. Really? She doesn't... She's, she's looking for all this dark justicia stuff and she doesn't respond to that? I could put it on her. Let's put it on her for a laugh. What's next, I wonder? Right, comment. Actually, she may as well because the other helmet. Oh, it's constitution saving throws. She doesn't intimidate. Hmm, okay. Uh, she looks better in that one, anyway. On I, go. I thought she'd have responded to that with some, and, some well, text. In it. Hang on, there's a forge plaque. Forge your blade in the fires. And raise it in the mistress's name. Hmm. 